Hey guys, Pablo here with BND, and today's episode is titled Entitled Parents Behind Bars. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification sign for more content coming up every other day. Our first post is called Entitled Mom Tries to Deny Her Dying Son His Wish and Tries to Kill Him Because the Books I Got for Him Are Satanic. Some backstory, I'm in a D&D group with a couple of friends from nearby, and one of the members of our group was a kid who was about 15 years old. He was a really sweet kid, likes helping other people out, and he's a big fan of Dungeons and Dragons. He also has cancer in both his lungs. He's from a religious family that basically forced him to act pure while he's in their sight. The mummy is WBC level rabbit. Well, the dad is just a sensible person who just tries to get him to be a good kid. When he's out of sight of his parents, he does normal teen stuff. Because of his mom, the only books he was allowed to own were Christian books and Bibles. He joined our group mainly as a way to escape his home life and his mom. A couple of weeks ago, the cancer in his lungs started to get to him, so he was taken to a hospital by his parents. He contacted me about a day after he was taken to the hospital, stating that he wanted the monster's manual as his last wish, stating that he was tired of reading the same. I bought him the book from Barnes & Noble, but considering he was a dying teen, I got him Volo's Guide to Monsters and Morden Kane's Stone of Foes stacked on top of that. The next day, which was his birthday, he was still in the hospital, so I brought him the books as a gift. After he blew out the candles, we had cake, and he started opening gifts. Mine was the first to be opened. Seeing what they were, he immediately got his humongous grin on his face and hugged me. Meanwhile, his mom stared down at the books with a look of pure disgust, with her husband staring at her with his weary look in his eyes. She picks up one of the books and relights one of the candles and holds the damn book over it to try and set it on fire. I managed to stop her and demand, what the hell are you doing? He asked me to get those books and I'm not going to let you take them away. His mom simply stared at me down and said something along the lines of the books being sinful, satanic, and a fool of evil and that her son had no business with them. I retort and say that her son can read what he wants, and that she shouldn't have to force him to be Christian. She starts getting red in the face and yelling at me about essentially forcing children to believe in God from a young age. I state that I'm a Baptist, which I actually am, and say that faith in God is a matter between God and the individual. She turns red all over and actively starts to try to destroy the books, with me, my friend, and her husband trying to stop her. At one point, I shouted, Would God want you to do this? To restrict your dying son's freedom of expression? Right in her face. This just sets her freaking ablaze. She tosses the books aside and starts trying to strangle her son and her husband calls security immediately when she does this. Security get there within about a minute of the two of us trying to pry entitled mom off her son and drag her away, with her shouting that we're all catamites to the devil. Both her husband and my friend charge her with child abuse, assault, and attempted murder. Trial's still going, and I'll try to update this post as the trial goes on. Added. Holy crap! I came back to 300 karma and this is with 3,000 of votes. Thank you so much for the support. Added too. Whoever just gave me gold, thank you so much. Added three. Thank you guys for the silver. Added four. Try was almost a disaster. Me, him, and her husband all persecuted against her. The moment she saw us, she tried to tackle us shouting something about divine retribution, but the officers restrained her. During the whole thing, she kept pinning the blame on me and him, 
calling us corrupted by sin. Needless to say, she was pronounced guilty of all three charges that I mentioned earlier. The moment she heard this, she went ape shit and tried to attack the judge, but officer stays her to the floor. Now she'll be serving for 20 years for the other three charges, with 10 more on top of assaulting a court official. Thank you all for the support you guys gave us. Thank you all for the support you guys gave us. All right, guys, I'm not sure if that story is true or not, since I tried to do some research on the internet and I really didn't find anything. But I do remember while in the 80s, that was a huge book burn of DMD books and some other books that the church just thought was wrong for kids to read. They're satanic and all that stuff. Um, and if I'm not wrong, it all started with some kid killing himself. And because the kid played D&D, they just assumed that the games were actually related of how the kids acted and everything. I'll be honest, I played D&D for many years, and the only thing it does to you is help you grow your imagination. If you guys know anything about D&D, you know that, yeah, sure, you can be a mage, but you also can be a cleric, you can be a person of God, you can be a warrior. It's just really nice, clean fun. This next post is called, Some lady tries to murder me for a donut. Yo, Bonfris, r slash, this happens to me today. I have cancer and need an oxygen tank to keep my breathing steady. I can breathe without it, but it's very dangerous. I had just saved up enough money for a box of donuts and was sitting down to catch my breath. Even a walk in the park is exhausting. Entering title parent, EM, and kid, EQ. Excuse me? Yeah? Can my son sit in that chair? He's very tired. Sorry, no. I can't breathe and I'm trying to catch my breath. There are chairs over there, though. Jester's to chairs across the plaza at the cafe shop. No, my baby's exhausted and can't walk that far. Can you just carry him? No, I don't want to. Well, you're going to have to, or sit on the ground. Gives me the finger. Struggles off to annoy an elderly couple. Maybe five or six. Mommy, I want a donut. Okay, sweetie. That old mom walks towards donut shop. No, one of his donuts. Entitled mom, suddenly at my feet, I swear she teleported. Well, can my son have a donut from you? Nope. That was not a question. Give me a donut. No. I paid for this, and you can buy your own. We suddenly have a 20-minute argument. That a mom lives in a huff, but with a gleam in her eye. As I'm eating peacefully, I hear a slight squeaking noise. I ignore it. Then I notice the entitled mom took the air tube out of my freaking tank. I start to breathe unsteadily, trying not to pass out. I quickly assemble my tank and breathe again, but realizing that B took the donuts while I was practically suffocating. I wanted to chase her, but I know it would end that badly. So I go to the secured part of the plaza, they have it on camera. Entitled mom sentenced to, added, five years in prison for assault. Kid put in child care. The entitled mom was single, apparently. And she paid for my donuts. All went well. Please do not tamper with other people's stuff. Thanks for reading. Added to, okay, people, listen. I would appreciate if I stopped getting comments about the sentence. I asked it to change it. And it was. Because I think people deserve a second chance. 
Please, please stop posting about the sentence. Thank you. You know, guys, that's really messed up. Uh, why I think wouldn't be a big deal for him to give a donut to the kid? We also have to think that he actually saved up money for those donuts, what it means he probably could not afford because of his health, things like this, for a long time. And she had no right to just take them, and most by threatening his life. And our last episode of today is titled, Women Gets Arrested So Her Toddler Could Watch YouTube. So, I was at the gym waiting for my brother to arrive so we could get our gains on. And while I'm waiting, this mid-30s woman comes up and sits down on the couch I was on. She had her three-year-old on her lap, and she was looking at her phone. I'm sitting next to her, mind my own business, and all of a sudden, the entitled kid grabs my phone and starts playing with it. My 14-year-old ass, in shock of what just happened, and how much this parent is neglecting what her child is doing. The entitled kid runs to the corner of the room, and I walk over there to take my phone back. It's now that the entitled mom looks at me taking my phone back from the entitled kid. She sees me take my phone back and the entitled kid starts having of what I can only describe as a mental breakdown. The entitled mom yells at me to give my phone back to the entitled kid. I say no and entitled mom starts screaming, He's raping my child! Help! I'm standing here in disbelief. One of the employees, who was someone I was friends with, is my personal trainer, comes over to look at what's going on. My trainer tells her to calm down, but entitled mom said, he took my child's phone. My trainer didn't know what to do or who to believe. So I give entitled mom my phone and say, if it's your three-year-old's phone, then you must know the password. Enter the password if it's your kid's phone. Entitled mom throws my phone to the ground and runs to the parking lot. My trainer tackled her. I call the police on my now broken phone. I press charges to pay for a new phone. Entitled mom says, it was your fault you didn't give entitled kid your phone. I laughed and she paid for a new one and had to stay the night in jail for destruction of property. This was satisfying as F. And hey guys, that's all the time we have for today. I would like to thank everybody who got to that point in the video. Also to everybody who have been leaving comments. That's probably one of the best things of making YouTube content for me is hearing from people what they think. And it doesn't have to be only good things. Constructive comments, what you guys would like to see, what you think would be better. Um, if there's any issues on the videos in your eyes, it would be great for me to know. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. And I see you guys Friday on the Veterans Point of View. Thank you.